I'm going to try to get this cut out real quick, and uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. <laughs> Okay, so we now have our intake fan. Okay, there we go. They turn on. When they shut off, I don't know. Okay, back again. Uh, basically, the biggest problem I have with this computer setup is the computer actually being mounted inside the cabinet. So, um, what I need to do is I need to get airflow to the computer because when I shut the, the two doors here, Less than a couple minutes, I'll kind of show you here. These fans kick in high mode, and there's just too much heat in there. So um, there's not a whole lot of options for extracting that without actually like cooling the room. So I found these, these uh, they're called air plates, and they're made by AC Infinity. And AC Infinity, if you watch the other videos uh, in the description below, I've got the Air Titan for my crawl space, and I've got the uh, Air Lift series fan to extract the heat, but um, basically we're just going to cut a hole in the cabinet and we're going to run an external cooling device to pull air into the, we're going to pull air into the cabinet sideways and then we're going to extract the air out the top because that's how the PC is set up. It's going to, it's, the PC is pulling air from the bottom side, it's going in, cooling everything and then it's shooting the air out the top. So um, we're going to install one of these for the uh, the two fan system for the air coming in which will be just fine and then we're going to install a larger one in the top to extract the air out so we'll have just a three fan and this is plus this is actually overkill but if i ever leave that computer on i want to make sure that, that was, it's not going to burn my garage down so this will go on the top of the cabinet, we'll cut the hole, and it's going to pull all the air out to the top. Now, the, the nice thing why I picked this system is also uh, the digital controller. So the digital controller is real neat. I'm going to be able to cut another hole, and we're going to mount it right here on the side so it's always accessible. And it's going to measure my humidity and my temperature of that uh, little computer, that little space there. So with the with the controller here, uh, you have your sensor, which your sensor is this. It's like a probe sensor, and then your power, which will plug into any 12 volt outlet, and then actually the fans just run on uh, USBs. So there's not a whole lot of power being consumed here. So what I really like about this is I can change the settings to what I want, and then. Uh, let the, uh, basically I'm gonna call this a thermostat, do its job. Now on these fans, there's two different series that I know of. There's the S series and the T series. One of them, I think the T series pulls more air, but it's louder, and the S series is quieter. So I bought one of each. And if the T series, I believe it's the T series, if the T, T series is too loud for like filming in here, well that's running, then they actually have a three fan S series and then I'll use this for something else or, uh, or I might give it away on YouTube. I don't know yet. So, um, well, what we're going to do is we're just going to take these plastic plates that come on with the, uh, with the fan system and I'm just going to lay out a line. I'm going to take a die grinder and, uh, cut into these cabinets. Husky <laughs> would not approve this under, these Husky cabinets have a lifetime warranty on them. Well, I've drilled holes in every single one but that one, so that warranty's gone. But um, I think two will do it, and I think putting the controller in there is better than just plugging them in to the computer when I need them and keep those USB outlets on the computer free. And it, they're low energy consumption, so they're not going to take a whole lot of energy. I'm not really worried about that. But, uh, yeah, this should be pretty simple, and... Uh, AC Infinity, you ought to give me some kind of commission check or something for, you know, hooking you up with doing three videos on three different items. I haven't turned this thing on in a while. Oh, yeah, it's hot in there.
we have got our uh, fan set how we want it and then we're going to go ahead and mount our plate up here and I'm going to cut the hole for the plate. So I've got to go get the air compressor started up and then I've got to get the die grinder set up and I'm going to use a die grinder. We're just going to cut this out. I'm going to destroy this stencil, but we're going to go in with self tapping metal screws and put the fan to this metal. The instructions that come with the kit, it's for like drywall and wood. It has nothing for metal. So, you know, this is, this is not how it's intended to be used, but this is how I'm going to use it. So just get a little more tape on there. This is just painter's tape. This isn't, you know, you can find this stuff at your dollar store for, well, maybe not with the, you know, virus crisis that we're in. All of a sudden this, this tape became a hot commodity. So everybody's at their house fixing and painting their house. Okay, when you're cutting into metal, in a lot of my videos, I do not use eyeglassware or anything like that, but I've got a friend who has had some problems with his eyes, where he, he had a problem with his eyes, so I've been wearing eyeglasses ever since he had his problem, but I'm going to try to get this cut out real quick, and uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. May have changed the wheel. <laughs> Actually, it's pretty lined up there with the fan. So there's our fans right there. Now we're just going to remove the cutout. I'm actually going to let that metal, that metal, <laughs> that metal's hot. We're going to let that metal cool down a little bit. I'm going to actually run the USB cords up instead of down is what I'm going to do. You get real lucky. I won't have to go back and trim this hole up. Oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm the man. Oh, yeah. And we're just going to get them in there, and then I'm going to come back with a, uh, a socket and tighten them up. I just need to get them into the metal. If this is going in a uh, cabinet in your house, I kind of don't recommend having self-tapping screws sticking out. The kit actually comes with some nice flush mount uh, screws. And I'm just gonna tighten them down. And we should be good to go. I'm actually going to next step here now that we have this fan mounted is I'm actually going to mount the controller in first. And then I'm going to try to figure something out with the, with the camera to, uh, so I can get footage of me cutting that hole on the top. Okay. Now to keep moving along here, we're going to mount our thermostat in before we mount our final fan. And again, we've just got a small plate. 
So I'm kind of thinking this controller, I want it up with the computer, the computer level. So I think I'm going to put it like right up here next to this hose. Uh, the airline hose is not going to affect it. Okay, see if I can get those screws in there. And just put them on each side. So now that our controller is mounted in there, I'm going to go ahead and put the power to it. And then I'm going to plug in the other fan to the unit itself. Ugh. And this will actually be the power cord to control the thermostat, which will supply enough power to the fan units. Okay, we got power. Okay, so we've got power to that. Actually, I'm gonna hang, I'm gonna probably get some zip ties here. I'm gonna have to spend a whole day just organizing this closet. I did read if you have buy this fan set up and you have this adjuster on your fan, when you plug it into the thermostat, the the fan needs to be set on high. So make sure you set that on high before you put that on the thermostat. And we're just going to plug it into our unit here. It's already running, so I'm not real sure what's going on. Okay. And I'll get some zip ties. Okay, so last and final is uh, to put our third fan, our second fan in. And unfortunately, up on top of that cabinet, I'm not going to be able to tape it. Uh, so I'll just show you when it's installed here, but we'll tape it up, get it hooked up to the thermostat. That thermostat looks awesome on that screen. And then I may have to do a video on how to work that thermostat. So, yep, I'll get this taped up and start to get that hole cut. Oh, wow. I'm not going to get a whole lot of a lot of room up here to cut that. Oh. Okay. I'm going to actually cover the PC here. So I don't get the metal shavings down in the top of it. Probably should have done this right off the bat.
I should do it. Oh boy. Oh, I'm getting hungry. We're just going to put our self tapping screws in here. There's one. Tighten them with our uh, ratchet wrench. And then I'll bring the camera up and show you what we got going on here. Okay, so we now have our intake fan to bring the air in. And up on top, we now have our exit fan to take all the heat out of the of the uh, cabinet here and then we have our digital thermostat on the side here and I'm gonna go ahead and connect the other fan and then install the uh, the heat sensor probe to the thermostat so I'm actually gonna uh, undo the power to the thermostat so now the power is off and this is our our heat sensor probe to detect the uh, heat inside the cabinet. And we're gonna go ahead and plug this in. It's real small. Um, I'm probably gonna lay it on the top of the PC is what I'm gonna do. Well, I'll come back later and fasten all this stuff up. And I'm gonna plug this into the thermostat. Well, actually I'm not. The probe actually says that it's 67 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to, well, we're going to turn that on. And we're going to turn these fans on, make sure they work. And they do work. So this fan is now spinning and it is blowing air in. And the fan on the top is blowing the air out. Sweet. Okay, so they both work. Now we're just going to shut the fans off. Oh, you can adjust the level of the fans, the speed of them. Oh, wow, what a difference. Okay, so that's not loud at all. What we're going to do is shut them off. We're going to set this to auto. We're going to let this computer stay inside the cabinet and see if that probe will get to 70 degrees and then kick on here. Okay, there we go. They turn on. When they shut off, I don't know.